So we broke the news earlier this morning. Fox 13 now officially a broadcast partner of your OL Reign. That means you're going to be able to watch all of these games on Fox 13 Plus. Yes. Uh, Rain sent us uh, uh, some swag as well. We'll get to that in a moment. I uh, want to show you those uh, those games that we're going to be broadcasting on Fox 13 Plus. Can we go back to that? Yeah. July 30th, uh, August 14th, August 26th, and September 21st. So we're excited about this new partnership and a star-studded lineup for OL Rain. Yeah. So here to celebrate this morning here, OL Rain coach Laura Harvey. Coach, good morning. Morning, guys. How are you? Oh, we're fantastic. I mean, we are excited about this. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I think it's something we've always wanted as a club uh, to get people locally to see us on TV is the best way to push the sport forward. So we're super excited about it. And for folks that, that aren't familiar, I know people have been packing Lumen Field, um, but you are working with the best of the best on the field. I mean, I mentioned a star-studded lineup, and that is uh, no kidding. I mean, a number of members of the U.S. Women's National Team. You have uh, national team members from all over the world, Wales, Brazil, all over the place. Um, what is your coaching philosophy as a three-time coach of the year in this league to get the best out of your athletes at that level? Yeah, I think it's, you know, we want we want to try and be the best we can be and we, we want to try and get the best players on the field that, that we can. And I think getting these big stars to come uh, just shows our intent of wanting to try and win. Um, and I think for me, it's just letting them go out there and show who they truly are um, and giving them the tools to be able to do that. That's sort of always been my philosophy. Coach, you've been breaking attendance records at Lumen. People are pumped to have you back in Seattle. How is that impacting the team? Yeah, it's been huge. I think coming back to Seattle and getting down at Lumen, it's something we've always wanted. I've always dreamed of, honestly, um, and it's lived up to that expectation for us. And every week I feel like there's more and more fans coming through the door. And I think this partnership is going to help with that. So we're just really excited about one being back in the city and now being on local TV is just huge for us and huge for the sport. I'll tell you what, that's where they should be played, too. I mean, it just is. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Look at that crowd. Yeah, I know it. It's, it's massive. back in the place. Massive. Uh, there were some big headlines that, that came down uh, recently. A court ruling the women's national team finally getting equal pay to the men. And I, I guess my question to that is, what took so long? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. But um, we've got a few players on our team. Obviously, Megan Rapino being the big voice of that, who's pushed for this for a long time. Um, and we're just really glad that they're getting the just rewards now. And uh, I think you saw it over the last couple of days where they, again, won um, the CONCACAF tournament to qualify for the World Cup in 2023 and the Olympics in 2024. So we're just champions of those guys. And, you know, to get to see them locally in Seattle is just a, a phenomenal thing that we hope more and more people want to do. Uh, let me ask you a question about the Olympics and the World Cup. You mentioned that and you have a number of international players on the roster as well. Um, is there any like ribbing? Uh, I mean, how does that work when the team comes back together? Is there something that needs to get sorted out in the locker room? Some <laughs> trash talking that needs to happen? How does that go down? No, they tend to be pretty respectful with each other, to be honest, uh, which is great. You know, it, I don't have to deal with too much of that, but um, we celebrate everyone's success, which is which is cool. Uh, but we have a really cool locker room, really good people in it, um, who are just striving to make the sport better generally. Um, and obviously everyone who gets the success. Last year it was the Canadians winning gold medal at the Olympics. And this year the, the US got one over them in, in CONCACAF. So I'm sure when we get back together next week when they've had a couple of days off, we can uh, we can see a little bit of uh, jibbing going on, I think. But uh, not too much, not Wait, too much. You, you, Coach, you didn't mention it there. You are on a break right now. So how are you all preparing mm -hmm. for the matches ahead? Yeah, we, uh, we've got a couple of days away from each other right now, but then we'll be getting back together at the start of next week in preparation for a really big stretch in our season where, you know, the first game that you guys have away down in LA. Um, and then we've got a couple of away games that we've got to take care of before we come back to Lumen. So it's, uh, it's a big stretch for us coming up. So this they're getting some well-deserved rest and um, time away to refresh and get ready to focus to the second half of the season so we can push on get into the playoffs and hopefully go and try and win something. I love it. Oh, well, rain coach Laura Harvey, we really appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much. And we're excited to be your official partner. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and they, they also decked us out with some really cool swag. They did. 
Have you checked out the nice. scarves? Look, look, look at these look at jerseys. Well, here's the weird thing, though. We're all number 13. Yes. I know. <laughs> so what the heck? Someone, right? a couple I mean, of y'all are going to have to go. It's going to be really confusing for the announcer. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, let's uh, check in with Adam, who is also number 13. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way, see? They gave the dude a pager and a cell phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't we, right?